What's up? It's Olivia aka Laced by Liv and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how to paint the perfect sunflower on a pair of Vans. So these are just the regular canvas all white pair <clears throat> and I'm going to be just doing it on the top. I'm not touching the sides. Um, recently I was just looking at videos, tutorial videos on YouTube and there really aren't a lot of good ones on sunflowers especially with acrylic paints so I thought I will do a very in-depth tutorial not just a time-lapse an actual tutorial on how to paint a very very nice sunflower on a pair of vans so please subscribe give this video a like comment down below share with your friends and let's get started I forgot to add I already did the one shoe so here's a little preview of the finished product if it decides to focus there we go very detailed realistic looking sunflowers so that's what I'm going to be doing on this shoe all right now let's get started So the first thing we're going to do is take a pencil, this is just a regular like art pencil, and we're going to sketch in exactly where we want the sunflowers to be. So I think we're going to do three sunflowers. Um, we're going to start with one over here. So just a circle and then the petals, just kind of a flowy line there and work your way all the way around the circle. And don't worry if it looks funny at first because It'll always be able to be fixed with paint. So these literally do not have to be perfect at all. It's just kind of a reference point for when you do paint. Okay, so now you have just your regular petals and then you're gonna go in between each petal and fill it in with another petal. So this gives the flower a little more depth and makes it look realistic because real flowers, sunflowers do have this going on. Okay. So now that's what it'll look like. And then we're gonna follow that same process and add as many more sunflowers as you want. For this case, we're gonna do, do two. And I'm also gonna add a leaf over here. Um, that's gonna be a green leaf afterwards. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with the middle of the flower and 
With that, we're going to mix a little bit of the brown with the black. And then after that, we're going to mix some of this like darker yellow. So let's start with get a little bit of brown on the brush and some black. And then we're just going to start filling in our circle. And then mix some of the darker yellow with the brown. So then you get this nice shaded circle. And then... Um, we can add a little bit more around the outside. Alright. So that was it for the circle. Let's zoom in on that. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the petals. And starting with that, we're going to use the yellow, straight up yellow, the lighter one. And then we're going to do one coat of that. And then we're going to go back in and mix some of the darker yellow in with it. So now I'm moving to my smaller brush for this. Actually, I'm going to switch to my bigger brush because these petals are a little bigger. And you can just trace right inside your lines that you drew with your pencil. And this does not have to be perfect at all because the finished product, when you blend the paint, will actually just look very nice. So don't worry about being too neat here. Okay, so here are the petals with just one coat of straight up yellow. Now I just got done painting them, so I'm not gonna dry it because when we're gonna go in and mix some of this darker yellow and if it's dry it won't mix as well so we're going to i'm going to use the smaller brush for this one so this little brush and we're just gonna go in and add some light strokes of the darker yellow now you can do these wherever you want. I usually do it on towards the bottom, on the right side. Keep it consistent, but you can do it literally wherever you want. It's all about how you imagine this flower looking. Just go around. Some might be darker than others. Blend it in. So that's what it's going to look like after that. And then I go and use this lighter yellow again and go over the marks I just did to give it a smooth blended look so it's not just a darker paint stroke or whatever. Okay, next stop, step, we're going to take this finer brush here and dip it into this brown and we're going to outline the petals. So where the 
petals start, we're just going to go not all the way up. I just kind of go from the bottom, halfway up, a quarter up, a quarter of the way up. That's that. And then um, after that, I like to go in with the brown again and just add some other little textures of brown throughout the petals. So as you can see, the flower definitely looks a little more three-dimensional now. So now I'm going to go back with the brown and just go over some of the lines that didn't get as dark and defined as I wanted. So there's the flower so far and now I'm going to add some white so same brush we're going to use this white here and add some highlights to the petals so you can really put these wherever you want um, adds a little more depth to the flower and I was gonna go over it with yellow but I think it actually looks nice just like that. I'll add a little bit yellow. Some places you can go over it with yellow and it'll be more of a blended look rather than straight white but I actually like how the straight straight up white looks. So I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so now that most of the flower is done, I'm going to go back in on this middle piece here and kind of uh, blend it in with where the petal meets. So I'm going to take this bigger brush and just dip into some brown and some of the darker yellow and a little bit of black. And just kind of dab the edges. Alright. And final step in the flower part is take the small brush, dip it into your white, and we are going to add the little dots. Okay, so for the leaf, I'm going to be using the green, the black, white, and the darker yellow. So first I'm going to take this flat brush and I'm going to do straight up green and well, just fill in the inside of the the leaf that I drew with the pencil. Use this circle brush and mix in a little bit of the dark yellow. that. 
So I'm going to start with the black, add some low lights in here. And then we're going to get the white and add some highlights. And then we're going to take some green, some yellow, and go near the lines we just made. I actually just went in and added a little more of the dark yellow mixed with green to make this leaf look a little more realistic. But hopefully this was easy to follow. Um, I tried to make it as simple as possible with the least amount of steps and I think it pr turned out pretty good. Very realistic. So I'm trying to get a better angle from a distance. Look how nice that looks. Alright, so I will be back with the finished product soon. Alright guys, so I decided to do an outro to this. Here is the finished product. Both of them very realistic sunflowers on these vans. Please let me know, give me your feedback, if you enjoyed, if it was easy, if what I should change, whatever. And if you enjoyed, please like it, subscribe to me, comment any feedback. Thank you for watching.